Good morning and welcome back to the Pennine Way, day number 13. So, I think autumn has finally arrived because it's hat and gloves weather <laughs> this morning. I've had an early start because I've got a long 22-ish mile day today. The guy who runs the Blenkinsop Castle Inn very kindly took me the two miles up the road which has saved me an extra two miles walking alongside that death-defying door carriageway. <laughs> um, so I'm now just cutting across this path alongside the golf course and over to the start of the Hadrian's Wall path. So I'm looking forward to that today. Um, not seen it before so um, I think the section that the Pennine Way goes across is possibly the best part of the Hadrian's Wall Trail from what I'm led to believe. My eventual endpoint today is Bellingham and I've got to at some point today sort out my transport back from Byrness to Bellingham tomorrow and then back again in the morning. If I can't get any transport <laughs> I'm in bother because uh, I ain't walking 37 miles on the last day, <laughs> no chance. Right, okay, looking forward to today. Let's see what the day brings, shall we? So here we are, less than half a mile in. My feet are soaking wet already. I think I should have put the waterproof socks on. Now we've got so much dew early in the morning. Well, that was interesting. Uh, when you come off the golf course, you have to descend through this jungle. <laughs> you would have no idea it's a footpath. And I got to the bottom of it. And one of the guys that I was talking to last night who was staying in the same accommodation as me, he'd got the beer beer odor to drop him off at the bottom of that footpath. So we had a good laugh there. I'm the purist that does every bit of the trail. He's the sensible one that avoids getting soaking wet feet, trousers, etc. Um, tried to descend through that jungle off the golf course. <laughs> So that old adage, be bold, start off cold, is definitely true today. The first real hill of the day, and I'm melting now. <laughs> I have to de-layer already. I have got a clean base layer on today. I'd used the last one for about six days in a row. Um, and it didn't smell, well I don't think it smelled, but um, I noticed no one had sat next to me for about the last uh, two or three days so I thought it's time for a change. <laughs> so we made it to Hadrian's Wall. It's quite impressive. I think we've got a steep climb ahead. The camera never does it justice, it's steep. <laughs> so if you watched yesterday's video, you'll have picked up that I was feeling a little bit flat yesterday. Um, and as I'd hoped, obviously another day, a great day, and I'm feeling a lot more like myself again today. Helped by the fact my feet don't ache as much as they did all day yesterday. There is still about 19 miles to go, so obviously that's definitely going to change at some point over the walk. <laughs> um, and how, I can't believe it, I forgot to give you my unofficial TripAdvisor report on last night's accommodation. As you'll have seen, I was staying in luxury last night compared to all of my other previous nights um, but the place was absolutely fantastic. The owners 
brilliant. And they couldn't do enough for you. The food was great. Um, the fact that they brought me up to the start uh, in between cooking breakfast was, uh, you know, I couldn't speak more highly of them. Um, and it's so close to Hadrian's Wall as well. I think it's the kind of place that uh, I'd be tempted to stay again as part of some kind of a longer trip around these parts. So there you are. I, I know probably 95% of you who are coming onto these videos are only on them for the unofficial TripAdvisor review of my accommodation. <laughs> I think things are about to get excited and interesting folks. This looks like the busy section. There's a guy uh, back there dressed as a Roman. Looks like he's doing a, uh, a tour of some description. I think I've worked out why Hadrian built this wall now. I think he built it to stop his cows from escaping, <laughs> judging by how many they are around here. <laughs> so, so, the solitude of the Pennine Way has definitely ended, at least on this first section of today. But why wouldn't you come up here and bask in all of the history behind Hadrian's Wall, none of which I've read up on, unfortunately. So I've totally let you down by being unable to share anything with you. However, you can do exactly what I would have done, which is go onto Wikipedia, because Wikipedia is always right, we know that. <laughs> and that'll tell you everything you need to know. And I'd probably get it all wrong anyway. <laughs> So we've made it to the highest point on the windshield cracks. Still a bit hazy, but the views aren't looking too shabby. I've not stopped since I've been going. I think I'm about seven miles in now, fueled by um, a massive breakfast this morning. But I think the fuel supplies are running low, so uh, I'm gonna drop down a bit out of the wind supply. Have I said already that today's been amazing so far? It's that A word again, it's been amazing so far. It's that time again. I just need to psych myself up. Just one bite. <laughs> yes, please. So we're waving goodbye to the Hadrian's Wall Trail, now branched off back onto the Pennine Way. Um, I did, didn't linger around Sycamore Gap. It must be, possibly, don't quote me on this, but it must be uh, the world's most photographed tree because um, it was teeming with people around there. So. Uh, yeah, I didn't stop, just carried on. And I think now it's hello solitude, my old friend, I think, <laughs> for the rest of the way. About another probably 11 miles to go. The day's going good. I really enjoyed that first section. Um, the, the sights have definitely just kind of completely took my mind off my aching feet, but now we're probably 
in less glamorous surroundings. We'll see if they, uh, uh, the mine stops to tell me that they're aching again. <laughs> well, slight navigational error there. Uh, I was meant to cut across that field after I left the um, Hadrian's Wall path. Um, I just went straight up it. I've not had to check the map all morning because um, the Hadrian's Wall path trail was obvious and easy to follow. Um, lesson learnt for me, before you go blindly into the distance, check the bloody map. <laughs> so that section back there was extremely boggy. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear the squelching. I think when I stop for lunch it's time to put a new pair of socks on. <laughs> before I get trench foot. Why not? If they've built it, we'll use it. <laughs> oh, I've got a little bit of a uh, trudge through this forestry track now. I'm trying to find somewhere where I can sit and have some food. Um, something that popped into my mind though, my daughter messaged me yesterday um, to say that my channel had reached 900 subscribers. Um, someone in the video comments also said something similar too and uh, made a really nice comment saying that he felt my channel should have far more subscribers than it's got at the moment. So oh, thanks for that, that was a very nice thing to say. Um, but those that have watched me for a while know that I, I don't really make a big fuss and you know, I very rarely ever ask people to subscribe in any of the videos. Um, however, I am going to make an exception today <laughs> uh, because I, I'm not that far off 1,000 subscribers now and I think that would be a, a lovely little milestone uh, to achieve. Um, so I have a bit of a favour to ask, if you're watching these videos and you're not yet subscribed, um, if you wouldn't mind doing so, that'd be fantastic. Equally, if you're an existing viewer and subscriber and you think of, you can think of anyone else that might like to watch these and may also consider subscribing, you know, people such as insomniacs who need help getting to sleep at night, that kind of thing, you know, you get the drift. Um, please feel free to spread the word. Can we get to a thousand subscribers before I get into Kirk Yetham? I mean, that would be amazing if we could make that happen. Right, I need to find somewhere to eat. I'm bloody starving. Right, so that's lunch done. Nice dry pair of socks on. Let's get this last nine and a half miles done, shall we? So today's definitely been the boggiest section so far. The place I'm staying in tonight looks reasonably upmarket. I think it's also a spa. So I think they'll be giving me a refund and sending me off to the youth hostel. Because <laughs> I ain't going to look pleasant when I walk in, I'll tell you now. Well, that's the pen I way for you gives with one hand, takes with the other. 10 miles this morning of fantastic history and scenery across Hadrian's Wall and five miles so far this afternoon, knee deep in bog. I suppose it can't always be all cinnamon waffle and waffles. Sometimes it has to be grenade bars and something equally as minging as those. <laughs> I couldn't think of a more fitting name. <laughs> I think I've finally escaped the bogs of doom. And you know what? I'd still be rather I'd still rather be walking through those than mowing the lawn. <laughs> anyway, it's music time now. About six miles to go today. Slowly ticking them off. Well, what would you know? We've been graced by some sunshine uh, to take us to the last uh, few miles today. See, I think the Pennine Way God of Weather 
he's been watching today and thinking, look at that Burke wearing sunglasses in overcast weather. And he's come to look after me. Oh, I've been looking for somewhere to sit for ages, just been pounding that road for what seems like miles. This is going to have to do. There's a guy I've been kind of crisscrossing paths with today. I bumped into him a few miles ago, so I'm, I think I'm going to let him catch up with me and uh, walk the last uh, few miles into Bellingham together, I think. I'm flagging again now. <laughs> Oh, I finally made it after nine and a half hours of hard graft today. It's definitely been hard graft, 23 and a half miles too. So today's either going to make me or break me ahead of Thursday's 25 mile walk across the Cheviots. The one bonus though is uh, we've got a bath. I'm desperate for a bath. I need to rid myself of the smell of bog after today. So today, it's still been a good day. Uh, to use a football analogy, it's been a, a, a day of two halves though. First half was fantastic, second half less memorable. But it's another 23 and a half miles closer to my goal. So I think I've got just over 40 miles to go to reach the end of the Pennine Way. Um, I now need to go and run that bath as quickly as possible and soak these aching, weary feet for as long as I can before my table's ready uh, in the restaurant. So I'm here for two nights. I've managed to get a taxi from Byroness back to here after tomorrow and then somewhat a taxi picking me up at half six on the Cheviot day to get me up to Byroness for seven. So where all systems go, providing the taxis remember to pick me up. <laughs> right, thanks again for watching today. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Bye for now.